Hey YouTube, it is uh, just about 12.30 on Thursday, April the 7th. And just with all the recent uh, activity in that, um, and some posts that uh, Dutch Synths put out last week, uh, a couple other folks as well, uh, Scott at Believers Underground, Bug, um, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the North American plate and the um, and what sort of things I sort of see happening around there. Um, got a lot of stuff. Hopefully, uh, I'll keep this short and uh, I can do it up in one piece. Uh, many of you have seen this program. It's just called uh, Earthquake 3D, and uh, it shows um, all the recent activity uh, coming out of the USGS website. And uh, this is just what's happened just in this last day here. It looks like they just had a 2.5 in uh, in uh, California, another. Um, but it's interesting because there's uh, along the Cascadian subduction zone, um, they've been getting a few more rumblings as well as some rumblings that were happening for Yellowstone and uh, as well around the St. Helens area. So uh, this isn't really what I wanted to look at, but uh, many of you have seen this. This is a USGS website. I'll put all the links to everything down below. But um, this is a common one a lot of people use. Oh, hey, there's that 2.5. It was in Central California. That was the one that just showed up there. Now, this one, the one thing about this, this, this is only the latest earthquakes with a 2.5 or greater for the U.S. and a 4.5 or greater for the rest of the world and for the last seven days. So that's good, but there's always, you know, if you're trying to see what's happening, um, especially in a, around an area like Yellowstone, and you want to see if you're getting the little earthquake storm, uh, swarms, of course, you you really you want to be able to see those 1s and the 1.3s and 1.7s um, just to get a, a good understanding about you know what's really going on there, not just what's reported on these ones. So I managed to find in the site here as well that uh, there is an actual list on the USGS website. If I tried to click on it, I'll never find it again, but you can find the uh, list uh, latest earthquakes of a 1 plus 0 for the US. And this is just for the US for the last seven days. Um, it's for the, uh, sorry, something popped up there. I've been having some serious computer issues. I'm really happy if this will actually record. Uh, it's been about five days of codec issues and all sorts of stuff. First time I'm trying to get a, another video out after recording about 10. So uh, anyways, um, this latest earthquakes, uh, again, is just for the one plus zero for the past seven days. And I, I can see why they don't do this for the world because in seven days, this is the list for the US. You know, the 1.8s, 1.2s, 1.3s, 2s, it still gives you the larger ones. Um, but uh, again, they just they can't do this kind of a list for everything. So, I, I mean, it's good. It doesn't really give you those, again, those clusters and that. And, and what I'd done was take that information, basically just copied and, you know, selected everything, highlighted it all went and um, pasted it into a uh, Excel spreadsheet. I'm a bit of an Excel geek here. And then just uh, threw in some columns and converted all of this uh, information that, that comes as one sort of column and split it out into individual columns. And so uh, I did this one, as a, this was on the 4th of April, or sorry, 5th of April. And I'm just gonna keep appending to it um, as a running thing, hopefully, if uh, Dutch wants to use it for his weekly update. But if you scroll to the very bottom, you can see that the total earthquakes then was 1,043 for the week. Again, that's just just for pretty much the U.S. It does include some of the bigger ones sometimes. They had one in there for Canada. It was really, it was basically that was, they call it Canada, but it read out as New York. Um, the nice thing is you can then go take a peek at this and go, okay, well, how many were happening up in, uh, well, I guess that's up in... Uh, 302 there. I guess it's Alaska, right? Uh, if you look at California, that's essentially where most of your earthquakes have been happening. Out of that thousand some odd, there was 504. And again, this is... I, I find it's a little easier to sort of be able to, you know, take a peek and go, okay, is it just, is it just Oregon that we're having an issue with? Um, and look at those areas and then, you know, maybe you can do a little bit better digging from there. Anyways, one other thing I found was um, 
on here they've got a link to KML RSS feeds and if you click on that you can actually go get an M1 plus earthquakes um, a KML edition for your Google Earth so the good thing I like about that over you know this is your earthquake 3d but on Google Earth it'll throw in um, I don't know how well you can see that but it gives you all of your individual plate boundaries uh, and then you can start to see that there's all these dots on here and the dots are what show up it gives you a little legend on the side here reds are in the past hour so it looks like they just had uh, 1.8 uh, reds past hour orange is the past day yellow is the past week so you know you can see quite a few that were happening along for California we had a couple little ones that were happening along the uh, Cascadian subduction zone there was a couple that were happening right here around the uh, I guess is that around the uh, Mount St. Helens area yeah that would be I believe that's the old blown dome right there and so you know they've got a 2.5 for April 4th, a 1.3 on the 6th 2.4 on the 5th, 1.8 on the uh, 5th so I really do like this overlay uh, the cool thing is this updates actually every five minutes and it will give your bigger ones um, around the world but it'll really only do the one pluses sort of in this US region you know if we were trying to figure out what was going on there for Yellowstone again it's easier to see um, to see it I think with these little dots and what's actually happening especially when you go zoom in on an area and you can see that that one larger yellow dot that was there is actually a cluster you know especially as you zoom way in and go okay so they've had what 3, 6, 9, 10, 15 to 18 earthquakes and some of them that was the 4.1 uh, April 5th a 2.3 so they you know they, they give you a bit of a size on the uh, on the dots as well that let you know whether or not it's a, it's a larger one or a smaller one so just interesting uh, I think that's a great overlay um, it does like I say show other parts of the world as well oh, California well, that was that 2.5 that just registered um, Puerto Rico where uh, of course where they just had that other massive one and it's right along that plate edge as well or where they had where they had the large cluster of them uh, would they have just a I think there's 35 or something like that over the previous previous few days so interesting um, but anyways yeah I, I think that's a great overlay uh, worth it if you like looking at uh, the up-to-date ones I find it's better than throwing the gallery view on with the um, earthquakes you'll see those pop up in a sec they're not bad but they go back quite a far far ways in history and if you're just looking for what's happened for this past week you know again as you as you zoom into these and you'll click on the you know well, that 8.7 that was a while 1938 they they do have more current ones oh, that was 1938 too 1932 there we go a little more recent that was Friday March 11th but again I, I just I think when you want to see what's just happening for the week uh, it's great to know what's happening in history but um, this really lets you see you know this up in Alaska all these little ones that have been going on 1.6 4.5 April 4th again the larger ones 4.1 April 5th just really sort of lets you see those and again shows all the boundaries and, and uh, the direction and the movement per year uh, this one on the Pacific plate I guess uh, over in Japan I guess that was that big one that they had 7.1 and that really is just still an aftershock um, when they have a 9 9.0 earthquake there um, you know they're gonna have aftershocks for the next six months to a year and aftershocks can be as large as eight so to get an eight it's it's not a it's not a new one it's it's a it's an aftershock so anyways um, the reason why I wanted to do this one though is there was talk about uh, just the amount of activity that's been going on uh, around the 
North American plate. So a bit of a, uh, and the reason why I wanted to do this was because of course um, lots of the sea life issues that were happening, um, you know migratory birds use um, uh, magnetic, um, boy what am I trying to say here, uh, just the things that are going on with the earth right now it just makes you think hmm something big has got to be happening because like I say, tons of bacteria uh, activity at the top of the plate, tons happening on this side of the plate. I've done a couple of their vids as well on the um, Cascadian Seduction Zone, which is this area in here where you've got your Juan de Fuca plate, the Pacific plate. These areas here that are showing up in red are actually the areas that are spreading apart. And so this is where it subducts underneath the uh, North American plate. And again, the red is where it sort of pulls apart. So. I wanted to do a bit more uh, info on that. 